Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I am going to go over the total market cap, total two and total three. Um, tell you what uh, the deal is here. And in my opinion, I think that uh, what's going to be going on is uh, a lot of people are going to miss the boat on this next wave run, guys. Okay, so you have this wave sequence here that uh, the total threes do it on the weekly uh, RS weekly chart right here, guys. And it's over in this area. I'm going to go over some stuff and uh, show you some things. But I don't think this is a fifth wave at all right here on the total market cap. What total market cap is, is everything, obviously, in the uh, crypto market cap. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, and everything on down. And this is the uh, wave sequence that you have. And it's uh, probably a third wave. This is extended third wave. That's why it's so high, like right over here. And then it came back down. This is the fourth wave. And then it's probably going to be making a way back up into just beyond those areas right over there, guys. So you see down here in the weekly RSI, right? Like so, okay, it's uh, down lower. And this area over here is a little bit higher. That's a massive amount of divergence telling you that it is uh, going this way more than likely, okay? So let's go down to a daily chart and take a look at this. It's actually looking quite bullish for these assets, guys. Um, well, if you can call it an asset. Off the uh, area down here where it made a wave and it's corrected over to here. And it's looking like it's now making a third wave possibly in this area to correct it and go back up in that area, guys. So... um. You can see here in the 12 hour, that's actually looking really, really bullish for this asset right now, guys. Um, one, two, three, four, five. That could be a third wave. So check it out like so. Yep. More than likely, probably hit the 2.0. Could be 2.0 back down and then 2.27. You could actually probably see a trillion dollars on this here in this wave run, possibly, guys. Might take it a little bit. Slow to move, slow to get out of there. Because the macro environment, as time goes on, this is just warming itself up, in my opinion. One, two, and possibly might be making another one, two. That'd be extremely bullish. You definitely want to keep that in the uh, back of your mind. Well, obviously, you want to keep the bearishness potentially in the back of, my, of your mind. But you also want to realize the bullishness of possibly could be going on with uh, total market cap here, guys. Okay? Um, that's definitely an impulse move. You have divergence right there. Okay? It's definitely an impulse move over here. And then, you know, this is all open for debate what this is going to be. Um, you have a good shot that that's an impulse move too, guys. So taking a look at total two, this is all the coins except Bitcoin. And go back out to a weekly chart. You see the same little pattern over here too. And uh, back down here in a weekly RSI right over there. Like I said, I think this is a third wave extension in my opinion. Here's the third wave. And it's a fifth of a third extension. And this is a fourth wave. And then this asset is going to, boom, be making its way up there. That probably have a wave that's probably about this long or maybe a little bit longer over here, guys. So it's not going to be a third wave. Think about this reasonably. Let's look at this, okay? Here's a massive third wave right here, okay? More than likely, you're not going to be seeing some sort of massive third wave like that right over here. It just did one over there, guys. Okay. So my opinion, you're going to be seeing something more along the lines of something like that. Okay. In my opinion, you're going to want to be exiting out. I think a lot of people are going to miss this, guys. Uh, there's so many people I've been watching these bigger, some of these bigger YouTube channels, and they're just so, they're like so confident that it's going to get people's confidence on everything going down because their belief of it has to go down because of the macro environment is so strong right now that they're going to miss it. They're just, they're going to be in such disbelief. They're going to be, uh, in my opinion, bamboozled big time. And then here's the uh, wave sequence off the bottom. These are actually looking pretty strong guys. And then on the 12 hour chart that took out the divergence. That's probably a third wave. One, two, three, four, five. Have divergence on the eight hour. On the 12 hour, it took it out. You can see. So one, two, three, four, five. And it's probably one, two. So just to give you guys, this is very bullish for this asset, guys. This could be like this. There's a you have a good shot that that's like this. Let me uh, erase that. 
a multiple sequence, like just like so. One, two, and then that's the three, and back down for a four, about that size right there, and going over for a five, okay? Something like that is what I would be uh, paying attention to. So total two, total market cap is looking like it's going pretty bullish. Now total two looks like it's going pretty bullish. So my opinion, guys, time to pay attention. Time to pay attention. Should have been paying attention down here uh, more so and getting in on some longs, in my opinion, in that area. So total three, this is all the coins except Ethereum and Bitcoin. So this is Binance on down and the rest of the coins uh, that are uh, not in this right here. Okay, guys? So this one, too, took it out. Took it out. That's the third wave, more than likely, guys. It's the third wave. It took it out on the eight hour, too. So this is actually becoming very bullish, guys. Look at this. So you probably have one, two, three, four, five. So same thing over here. Um, one, two, three, four, fifth wave. Or that whole thing could, since it extended, it could actually have an extension on the third wave like so. Okay? Is it took out on the divergence whenever it takes it out. So you see that the, if, when the RSI is down here, you have the bearish divergence, but now it took it out on the eight hour. Definitely took it out on the four hour. It might, uh, it's starting to take it out on the four hour right there. So you see the divergence right there and it could take it out. So it's going to matter how that plays out is that didn't take it out. So you could be looking at the same thing over here with another move. So this should be your one, two, and possibly something like that, three, four, five. Okay, guys? So it's actually going very, very bullish. I haven't been paying attention to uh, the total market caps, but they look really, really good, guys. You know, um, it's telling me that um, it's looking like there's a turnaround coming in the making right now. So it's the same thing here with uh, total total market cap. So you can see one, two. This whole thing, in my opinion, is the three back down for a four, and it's going to go back up. I'm looking at midway. So you could be looking at it had a high of 1.1 trillion, 1.1 trillion. And I'm, I'd be looking at a 1.53, a 1.1 a to 1.53 on, on an asset like this. So I'm good. Let's go through this. Okay. We're going to go through this. I'm going to show you guys something. Also, two here on the RSI. You see this? Bam. You see how deep that is on the RSI over here? Okay. Just based off this data right here, the odds are in my favor that there's going to be at a minimum a swing up in the in these uh, assets, or I'm calling them assets, not really assets, but a conglomerate of assets. It's going to swing up, okay? Because it's way down here and it's starting to make its way. So more than likely, just say it on the RSI, you know, for this thing to really make a trek down, like some believe, this is going to have to come up here. And then it can start working on its way down over here. Kind of like this, up and then swing back down, okay? Like that wave two over there. That's how I look at that, all right? So let's go over here. I'm going to show you guys a, a picture of all, all the assets and put like a uh, a suite of assets together for you. So you see this, boom, it's going to have a swing up. I think it's going to be coming along right there. You have total two now, bam, and a swing up. Boom, right there. And then you have another one over here like this and a swing up. Boom, like so. Okay, so now I'm going to go through some other assets. Look at the Binance coin. Kind of the same thing, same pattern. And then boom, up for Binance coin. And make its way just right beyond all-time highs. Take a look at uh, Ethereum right now. Kind of the same thing. Up there, back down, and then boom. 52.80 to possibly uh i don't want to say seven thousand fifty two eighty something like that is what i'd be looking for on ethereum guys so i am after looking at the total market caps i am probably a little bit more bullish it makes sense the other thing is too i think a lot of people are missing with the traditional financial markets is that you know they're just assuming because of the uh, bad earnings with uh, Amazon, Microsoft, and what was the other one that uh, Facebook, those, those right there, guys, think about it. The three big monsters or the big monsters just tumbled 20%. They tumbled 20 plus percent on some of them, 25% and some, I think was some of them. 
And didn't you notice how the uh, the S and P and and the Nasdaq didn't really go down? I mean, the Nasdaq that one day actually did go down over percent, maybe near two percent, but they didn't really take them out that much. The big boys probably have bottomed, and the smaller cap stocks look like they're just starting to creep out. And like I said, in the great financial crisis, if you go back and look at it and study it a little bit. The S&P 500 didn't actually fall and make a bottom. What When it was going down and finding its bottom, there was a bunch of conglomerate of small cap stocks there that were already bullish. Food for thought. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.